Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm here with Craig Partridge, and we're talking about uh, sort of the transformation of mobility in the workplace. Right. What's the what's the foundation behind all of that? So I, I guess for us, we we have a very simple phrase that defines what we think mobility means to the enterprise, and the phrase I use commonly and consistently is universal access to people, to apps, and to data. And those are kind of there's some very key words, and they mean an awful lot, right? So. So universal means I can access my services wherever I am, whatever device I'm on, whatever network I find myself on. Uh, access implies some kind of seamless experience. In other words, I want to access those people, data, and app services, but I don't want it to be something I have to jump hurdles to get to. And then those core services, those core attributes, people is about tapping into our investment in UC technologies like Link, for example, and saying, how can I extend that Link experience that give, gives me great enterprise voice, great enterprise video on any device, tapping into the Link mobile experience. Data is about the most common complaint I hear from customers when it comes to mobility is, my data is no longer just on my premise, right? It's out there on, on serv great services like Dropbox and Box.net, you know, but every customer I have has that challenge. How do I replicate that great experience? but still live up to my the charge I have to protect corporate IP. So how do I keep everything where I know where it is, secured, backed up, service level agreed, but still give universal access to it? And then finally, apps is a kind of complicated landscape, but it, it revolves around two key themes. One is I've got an investment in the Windows client, the Windows client ecosystem, and I've invested millions in developing applications landscape for that. How do I get more universal access to those apps? So sometimes that might be through virtualization. Not just virtualization of the app, but sometimes the underlying client OS as well. But then increasingly our customers are saying, how do I now also engage on taking advantage of these mobile platforms natively? So how do I develop apps that are still secure, that still do the things they're supposed to do, but engage in that native mobile experience? So that's a complex landscape, but that kind of gives the initial user experience. But then around that, we have to also remember that this shift towards mobility is a shift towards wireless. And not just Wi-Fi, but that 3G, now 4G experience. So seamless access to wireless services becomes increasingly important. In fact, it becomes the, the, the whole enabler to that, to that storyline. And a lot of our customers have got investments in wireless technology, which was, which was right for the laptop when the laptop was the mobile endpoint. But now we have tablets and smartphones, hybrid devices, wireless, and the wireless coverage becomes increasingly important. And then around that, that increased need to provide better connectivity, then we can deal with, well, what are the implications on management? So how do I, how do I bring that universal access to people, apps, and data to life? in a way that still meets the charge I have as IT around security and policy and regulation and compliance, which sound very boring words in this mobile enterprise, right? But it's still absolutely the charge and responsibility of IT. And so there we start to look at uh, where does mobile device management, applications management, content management really address and deliver the infrastructure to enable those, those outcomes. The last thing I'll say, Jake, though, is don't forget that all of this stuff isn't just technology, right? It's about people, it's about process and technology. And so governance becomes an important part of this. Having a mobility center of excellence in your organization, which is a combination of stakeholders, which all align to some mobile future and therefore all vested in that outcome, they become the enablers of things like management of change, uh, clear strategy and guidelines, how do I as an organization say today what I do and don't support? And where do I draw those, those lines between, well, it's your device, do I support that device, or do I just support the data that I've put on that device? So it's those kind of discussions as well. This sounds like it's a, in a little bit uh, of a reversal of kind of the, the position that, that people traditionally take with the whole mobility approach, which is they want to lock everything down and keep everything out as much as possible. And you're kind of saying, look at how do, how do you empower the data? How do you empower the people? How do you empower the applications yeah. to be more useful in the ways that, that make everybody in the organization more productive? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you're absolutely spot on. I, I, and that's very deliberate that we, that we try to explore it from the 
from the consumer's experience out, the consumer of those services, we try and explore it from their experience outwards, rather than try and say, okay, how do I take great management tools and implement policy inwards? Because we find that customers, you know, and we know why we're doing it, right? We're, we're IT, we've been IT for 15, 20 years, we've been charged with securing stuff and locking stuff down and making the experience as consistent and standardized as possible because that's lowered our cost of management. So we understand why IT's default reaction to the problem is to say, I want, I want management, I want policy, I want to I take some control back. Unfortunately, we've entered this era now where our end users are way more empowered than they were five, ten years ago when they relied on enterprise to deliver that experience, right? So now, now the consumer experience is setting the new benchmark. And they're saying, I have seamless and universal access today to people and apps, and I can do that over here with these great devices, these great apps. That's my definition now of productivity. And if enterprise IT approach that, trying to bridge that gap, and the first thing they do is try and lock everything down, that goes to the heart of the problem, the biggest pressure we have, which is whether or not IT can remain relevant. Yeah. And I don't want to over-exaggerate that because of, clearly IT is always going to have to be in charge of providing security and compliance and delivering connectivity services. We know that, but we see increasing examples of where IT has failed to approach it from an experience point of view first and come at it from a management only point of view. The business has said, you know what, I'm going to go around you. And that's the threat of mobility, right? So, so just to interrupt for a second, are you, are you seeing, so, so you're talking about, you're seeing where it doesn't work. Are you, are you seeing successes where people are actually adopting the, this sort of newer strategy? Yeah, we are. And, and I think I, I summarize that into a couple of areas as well. Um, I use the phrase touch centric and always connected. And where we're seeing the greatest traction at the moment is where enterprise IT have been able to tap into that touch centric always connected experience. In other words, they've realized that you're at your PC three hours a day, but you're actually connected to these mobile devices 18 hours a day. If you're anything like me, my mobile device is my alarm clock, right? It's the first thing I touch in the morning, it's the last thing I touch at night. So how do we as IT recognize that I, if, I can, if I can get real-time data into that window where you're still connected and ask you to make intelligent decisions on it, then I can increase productivity, I can increase the speed of business, I can increase business agility, I can make decisions faster from wherever I am. That's the promise of mobility. And so where we're seeing customers really successful is when they're really trying to tap into that extra capacity we all have to be connected. And, and you know, I know that sounds like we're now going to have to work 24 hours, but that's not the point. It's just about being able to take advantage of it where we, where we can take advantage of it. And, the second part of that was touch-centric. So the, the other big shift is that movement from applications to apps, that, that client-server architecture uh, with that kind of that, that, that very dynamic but very large uh, window into the world down to these very uh, succinct, very precise app interactions where I'm not only am I getting you real-time data, but I'm asking you to think about a million things. I'm asking you to think about this one thing and take some action on it. So tapping into that wider window, making specific decisions, we're seeing a lot of customers with success in that area. Excellent. Well, that sounds like uh, there's a, a bright future ahead. Hope so. And uh, you know, HP's invested a lot in mobility, and uh, it's, a, it's one of what we think are three big disruptive conversations right now. Cloud, of course, is the other side of that discussion. Uh, big data is about understanding the world in a different way, but mobility is really about changing the way we consume all of that. Um, so it's a big bet for us. All right, well, thanks, Craig. Thanks, Jake.